lot of people have heard about the ideas of Gentiles living by the Sheva Mitzvah, but to me, to see the reality of uh, these people being having the privilege to, in front of you rabbis, to make their statements is uh, it's just a wonderful privilege for me to see. On Monday evening, in a small Jerusalem synagogue, seven people from three non-Jewish families swore allegiance to the Seven Commandments of Noah. In spite of the fact that a similar, even bigger ceremony was held last year, today I feel much more the great historical significance, because they have come on Sukkot, just as the prophet Zechariah said they would. There it is written that the Gentiles will come up to Jerusalem, when? During the Sukkot holiday. And they have come on Sukkot, in order for the court to accept them as B'nai Noach. They made their pledge in front of a group of rabbis from the reconstituted Sanhedrin Rabbinical Court with Rabbi Yoel Schwartz presiding. I, Susan Richardson, do hereby freely take upon myself the commandments of God to Noah and his offspring and the covenant between God and Noah as pronounced in the Torah given to Moses as interpreted by the Beit Din of Benai Noah in Jerusalem. The new converts spoke movingly of their love for God. A number of years ago, uh, I realized there was, first of all, in my heart, a love for Israel. And that was the first step that I took. Jews from all over the world have returned to Zion. And now nations are joining Hashem. And the rabbi, who I stand, of course, so humbled before, said, Or Hadash al Sion Tair. May Hashem shine a new light on Zion. And that light from Zion will illuminate the rest of the world. You are going to be that light that goes out to the rest of the world as a light from Zion to teach the nations of the world about their role in the world. For many of the B'nai Noach, the Seven Commandments are just the beginning. Throughout the years, the rabbis have understood, and as they study, they realize that the seven mitzvot actually, they're like chapter headings to an amazing book, and they unfold to so much more. So as they begin to study the Shavu mitzvot, as they begin to apply them in their lives, what happens is they discover that their life is very good. These, each one of these seven mitzvot unfolds to an entire chapter of many, and of course all the laws of justice, mercy, and compassion, they're all coming upon the name of the name of all as well. In the postmodern era, B'nai Noach communities are popping up all over the world, and especially in the United States. Many of the B'nai Noach must contend with families and friends who are sometimes hostile to their new lifestyle. We try not to focus on the big things. We try to focus on the things we have in common with our families. And there are certain things, you know, they're probably a little concerned about. But they're overall accepting, but they, on certain aspects, they think we're a little strange. <laughs> there are those who are interested in fully converting to Judaism, while others see their goal as remaining Gentile and spreading God's word amongst the nations. Another step forward to the full redemption. <laughs> Yeah, yeah.